Hey again, everybody. Um, today I I kind of want to revisit some older topics, or really just uh, I don't know, kind of uh, try to reapply some older topics that I have spoken on before. Um, because uh, I use a lot of these videos as a reminder to myself, you know, later on. Um, where, uh, when I'm in a tougher spot, um, and of course I've only been doing this for about a month, so, uh, you know, uh, it, it's been ups and downs constantly, but, um, I'll go back and I'll watch one of my earlier videos, or, uh, one that's on a specific topic that I am currently struggling with, and hearing my own voice, uh, almost call, call my own situation out and give myself advice, uh, is really, uh, really cool and is kind of, uh, kind of weird sometimes, um, because I kind of, like, it's, it's a good reminder where I'm like, yeah, I once thought, like, I, I've thought this way and I, I, like, I have the tools within me. And I've already stated these these things and these methods to deal with what I'm dealing with. And I just have those as a reminder of, hey, like, I know that this works because the old me kn knew that this works. And for whatever reason, oftentimes I and I know most people forget that we have those tools or we have those abilities. Um, and it leads to doubt and uh, uh, forgetfulness of the power that we have over our own situation. And so um, the title of this video is a quote that I heard um, just on a uh, TikTok recently. Um, I don't know who, who, who the guy's name is, but he, he said a ton of inspirational stuff um, and he comes up on my feed pretty often. Um, and he said, good things fall apart, so better things can fall together. And, uh, this is something that really hit me hard, um, while I was just, you know, scrolling last night. Um, for the past couple of days, I've been kind of stuck in some memories. Um, and, uh, you know, that I, the, this entire channel started as a result of a breakup, um, as my earlier viewers know, um, or if you go back and watch my earlier videos, that's what I mostly speak on. And, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, it's still a very recent thing, you know, it was only a little over a month ago. Um, and so much has changed since then. I've changed so much since then, and it doesn't nearly make me as sad as, as I was then. But, uh, you know, healing is something where, you know, not every day is going to feel like you are healing. And, um, you know, and the past few days has been like that for me, uh, where I've been caught up in the good memories and I've been missing the good memories. And, but I've been kind of neglecting to remind myself of the reason why things happened the way that they did. And kind of, uh, you know, uh, almost gaslighting myself into believing that uh, that it was good, and it it it, it was for a time, um, and it had its it had its time to be good, um, and I definitely ap appreciate the good that was there, but um, you know what happened was the right way to go. I mean, it could have been handled better, for sure, but, you know, I don't think there is ever one right answer when it comes to things like that. And so, um, I've been hanging out with a lot of friends recently, um, a lot of people that I've met here, uh, a lot of people that I met that I wouldn't have, have met had I not gone through this, um, breakup. And so, um, 
it's hard to not get stuck in those memories, though, of the good things and forget what you have right now. And while I don't think I can compare like the good times then to the good times now and say that they were better or that the current things are better, um, because both of them are good in their own way. Uh, but to go along with this quote, that good things fall apart so better things can fall together, I definitely think that, I mean, of course I'm in a better place, um, you know, as a result, um, and I have definitely been able to surround myself with better people, um, and, you know, I have people now that, um, you know, can, can kind of read me, and, um, you know, it's, it's pretty incredible, the, uh, the feeling that comes when somebody asks you how, like, how you're doing, and when that's a genuine question, when it's not just, hey, like, I haven't seen you in, like, a few days, how are you, you know, because everybody's gonna say good, you know, and, uh, but when you're genuinely asked, like, hey, are you okay, or are you doing well, um, you know, it's hard to, like, it, it's, it's kind of funny, because if you are doing well, um, saying that, oh, yeah, I'm doing fine, might sound like you're denying it, or you're being defensive, so it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, fully convince somebody that, that you are doing fine. Especially with me, because I get really quiet, and it doesn't look like I'm doing fine. Um, which, you know, for the past few days, I don't think I have been. Um, you know, just the stress of school and everything coming together, and memories coming up, and, um, you know, I, I should be more disciplined. Um, you know, I've been, I went on a run last night with, uh, one of my friends, and, um, you know, when you're out there and when you're in the thick of it, uh, you know, that's a good thing. And it's definitely a better thing than, uh, you know, kind of what I had before. So, really, this quote really is kind of my life right now. Um, that I had a good thing that, that fell apart. And now I have better things, or I'm in a better thing that has fallen together, or that will fall together. And, um, and, you know, I think I can apply this to, like, school as well. You know, I have, for the classes that I'll, I'll be taking next semester, I'm definitely a lot more excited to be taking those. Um, you know, after this first semester here, I've kind of you know, narrowed down a little bit more of what I want to do, what I want to study, and so, you know, this, this, this semester was a good thing, because I, I learned a lot, and I, you know, have a bit more of a gauge of what I want to do, and next semester, I think, will be a better thing that's going to fall together, um, and, uh, as far as social things go, I mean, I already kind of mentioned this, but, like, the people that I've met recently, I wouldn't have met had I not broken up with that person and um so as a result of that good thing that well was a good thing turned into bad thing um that fell apart um now i have these new re these new relationships that have fallen together um which are definitely better um and uh but it, it is a, it's a struggle you know every day uh, to recognize that and to see that like what you do have going for you and what you do have uh, in your life and so overall it's a it's recognizing the the necessary change or the or the necessity of change and um, appreciating what you had but also what you've just been given. And, you know, every uh, every day is a new opportunity to recognize 
these positive things. Um, and that's, that's, that, that's the best part of it is that I, at any moment you can choose to close, um, the last chapter or the most recent chapter, um, and, and start a, a, uh, new one. Or if you're in a good thing or a good chapter right now, you can choose to try to try to continue it. And, you know, and that's kind of the beauty of it is you're always the narrator. You're both the writer and the character of your of your story. And, you know, if a good thing fell apart at the end of this most recent chapter, well, you know, the next chapter then is going to be that kind of redemption, you know, arc where you have a better thing coming. And, uh, you know, I'm not super, um, su superstitious, but, uh, um, I do believe in karma. Um, like I do, I do believe that if you do good, good is going to, is going to come back to you. Um, same with if, you, you know, if you do bad, bad's going to come back to you. And, um, that, uh, I, that's how I kind of view it when, you know, like when, when you have a really bad thing happen, you know, you're due for a good thing. And while you may, if you're not very super assiduous, you know, you're just, you're like, that doesn't make logical sense. You know, you could have a, a series of bad things and be beaten down and down and down and not have a good thing ha happen for a long time. Um, but really, I think that de that depends on the mindset. So having um, th like the sort of mindset that I try to look at it with <clears throat> is when I go through something tough, then it's, you know, it's like the, the, the universe now has a debt to me. It, it, it now has a debt to bring something good next. Um, and that might not be immediate. Um, that might not be the very next thing that I do, um, but I have that debt now. And so, uh, and when I start to look for it and I start to look and, you know, actively seek the good, I'm going to find it and it's going to be there and it's going to show up. And, um, you know, same thing when it's bad and, and not that you should have the same mindset with that. Um, well, you know, if you want to be realistic i guess you could but like when you're going through really really good things you're like oh that's a little bit too good um and you know you start to like second guess and you're like ah this doesn't feel quite right um and you're kind of like doubting you know that you should have this good thing right and um then if you start to look for the bad then you're going to find the bad and that good thing might not might not, no longer be there so it's always maintaining the um good things will will come as I actively seek for them. And when a good thing falls apart, if you continue to seek for the better things, or, or just the same good things, you're going to find it. And so, um, you know, this this week is finals week. I just took a final. Um, half of it is manually graded, so I don't really know what my full grade is. I did pretty good on the auto grader stuff though, so hopefully that should be fine. But um, so just had a final today. I have a final project due Wednesday, and then that's it, and I'm done for this semester. And uh, and it's wild, you know. It went by really quickly, and it's been a very quick open and close chapter this semester. Um, and it's such a different year than last year. And, um, and also, I went back through and I read some earlier journal entries. Um, I had completed my journal of like one full year, um, back in October. And then I started an, a new one. And I, and I read all, all, every entry from when I started the new one. And I could see the growth because the beginning of that one, like the very, like the fifth or sixth entry is, is the breakup. And I can see my growth since then and immediately going into self-improvement and self-discipline. 
and you know i even though i wasn't a, i wasn't instant to be acting upon that i was already writing that stuff down so you know um i can appreciate that i was you know quick to kind of do that and i'm glad that i was able to switch gears like that and of course now i you know i i still struggle with the memories and with the uh with the emotions that resurface um but uh but yeah i mean I'll, Overall, I can see my progress, especially with my earlier videos and my earlier journal entries. Um, and so, yeah. And uh, but yeah, semester's almost over. It's it, it's almost Christmas. All my all my fellow you know college students out there, you've got this. You know, we are so close. We're almost there. And you know, take take the break to really have a break and enjoy time with people that you care about and just have gratitude because there's so much to be thankful for and to um you know even be thankful for 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 the harder times because you're going to appreciate christmas a lot more and uh yeah so this is kind of a longer video um just had all, all of these thoughts you know kind of building up so wanted to get them all out but uh yeah that'll be about it for now um and thanks for listening thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one